大家好，我是陈如玉。今天的主题是让一千六百道素食不重样的秘诀。So、as a chef, I've created over 1,600 different dishes, and so that requires a lot of creativity. And but it's a lot of fun. So I'm going to tell you my secrets to how to create really delicious and interesting new dishes.、Uh, so there's different components to creating a dish. So there's taste, there's texture,、uh, presentation, how it looks, and、uh, temperature. So. You can play around with each of these components when you learn, you know, what the fundamentals are. So the basics of taste.、Uh, there's five different flavors, or some would argue six.、Uh, there's salty, sweet, bitter, sour.、Uh, there's spicy and umami. So the key is to have a balance and a play of all these different kind of flavors. So sometimes you want sweet and sour. Sometimes you want maybe a little bit more bitter. Sometimes you want, you know, a little bit less salty but a little bit more umami. So the balance and the the, the contrast, the comparison of each of these components is what makes a dish more interesting. And so once you learn, like, oh. You know, this dish it needs more sweetness, and this dish it needs more、uh, sourness. Then you can learn like exactly、uh, what it takes to create a really interesting flavor and an interesting dish. So sometimes even in one dish you have different flavors that are separate. So like maybe you have the main component is a、um, is cucumber. So cucumber is a little bit sweet. But it's not very salty. It's uh, quite um, refreshing. But then, if you add a sour sauce,、um, and then if you have another sauce that's sweet, so then you have a sweet and a sour.、Uh, those are two contrasting flavors. And then you put them together with the slightly sweet cucumber. Then, then that's something that's a little bit more interesting than if you just had one single flavor. If it was only sweet, or if it was only sour. Um, then the next thing you can play with is texture. So the same kind of idea.、Uh, there's、uh, creamy, there's crunchy, crispy, there's chewy.、Um, there's like the QQ, which is like a like the bouncy, elastic kind of texture. So the QQ texture is maybe one of the most fun textures because it's a little bit like bouncy and elastic, and、uh, you find it in、uh, boba or.、Uh, The tangyuan and、uh, dumplings, but、um, I like to also play around with the contrast and the、uh, different textures. So sometimes you want to have only one texture,、uh, but sometimes you want to mix textures, and that makes it a little bit more interesting. So, for example, then maybe you have a dish that's really creamy.、Uh, maybe it's、uh, maybe ice cream. So. You have ice cream, and then what if you add something crispy, like uh, like fried uh, rice, and、uh, so the rice is crispy, and then if you put that on top, then when you eat it, then it's contrast with the creamy. Then you can add、um, maybe you want to add、uh, boba there too. So then you have、uh, the QQ, you have the creamy, and then the crispy, and then inside your mouth, then it's a little bit more fun and interesting to eat. Versus, if you were just eating ice cream and it was just creamy, you know that that's good and it's、uh, you know it's, it tastes good. But I always like to think that、uh, it's a little bit more interesting and more fun if there's a little bit more、um, happening inside your mouth at the same time. So、um, you know, as a chef, that it's really fun for me to yeah play with all of these different components because then it means that. There's an infinite number of kind of combinations, so you know I can very easily make you know many different kinds of dishes just using these kind of principles, where、um, you know just thinking about the flavor and then thinking about the texture and then the, the many different ways you can play with those. Then all of a sudden you have a lot of different possibilities and combinations. Temperature also has a big impact on flavor. So when a dish is cold, sometimes you can't taste the flavor as much as if it was hot. So you, if you keep this in mind, maybe first you were cooking a soup and you had to boil it, but then it's actually supposed to be served chilled. 
uh, it's going to lose some of the, the taste as it chills. So maybe sometimes you have to add a little bit extra seasoning where it maybe tastes a little too much flavor when it's hot. And then when it's chilled, then it'll taste normal. Um, you know, same principle for uh, if you make like liangpi uh, or like some other dish that could be served cold or hot. For example, I make a lotus salad dish. And so when you're cooking the lotus, um, it's going to become soft. But then when it cools down, then it's going to become even uh, crispier than it was when it was hot. So you have to think about that when you're creating the dish. Um, is it going to be served hot or is it going to be served cold? And then how much so should I cook it? Because if you're going to serve it cold, then you might have to cook it a little bit longer than you would if, if you're going to serve it hot so that it's the right texture. So I had a teacher in culinary school that always taught like sauce is the number one part of making delicious food and you know it's quite true because you can take you know anything and then add a little bit of sauce to it and uh, you can it can be boring but then all of a sudden it has a lot of flavor just because of you you adding sauce salt is one of the most important parts of cooking because that's what really brings out the flavor you know sometimes if you've noticed if you have just a plain dish that has no salt like maybe dough, uh, you'll notice that you can't really taste any flavors of the rice. Um, there's like you know a natural sweetness and a natural flavor in rice that when you add salt, then all of a sudden it draws it out. And so that's why salt is so uh, key to cooking because it really helps you taste all the flavors. Uh, the flavors that are naturally present in you know vegetables and um, even in dessert. So a lot of people might think, oh, it's a little bit weird if you add salt to your dessert. So for example, a lot of the Chinese pastries, the, the flaky, the crust will have a little bit of salt in it. And so when you compare that to a sweet filling, then it enhances that flavor of the filling. So I definitely encourage you to try this at home where you have something that's uh, sweet, but there's no salt in it. And then you add a little bit of salt and then you know, taste the flavor and see what differences you notice over the years. And I always make sure to note what flavors I'm tasting, um, you know, how salty it is, how sweet it is, how bitter. Um, and then notice like, you know, as I'm cooking too, what happens if I add a little bit more of sour flavor? What happens if I add a little bit more lemon juice or a little bit more vinegar? Um, and then, you know, just a little bit by little bit, how the flavor changes. So at this point, I've you know, eaten so much food and uh, become so experienced with tasting that I can taste flavors in my head. And so I can imagine something and I can know how it will taste just in my head without actually making it. So that um, at this point, I can create a dish without even trying it first, without even making it first, and I'll know how it will taste. So you know, maybe if you develop your palate enough, someday you'll be also able to do that. So for those of you who are just starting out, um, it might be a little bit intimidating, but I would encourage you maybe to start with something very simple like fried rice. So fried rice can be very simple. It can just be you know, plain fried rice, but there's also infinite number of possibilities. So you can add you know, all these different kinds of ingredients to it. You can add many different kinds of spices, many different kinds of sauces. Um, so for example, we can make one with uh, you know, oyster mushroom with a basil sauce and uh, chive and then also add some, maybe you can add some uh, tofu ricotta. And then you know, that is already an, uh, you know, an interesting one dish. And then you know, maybe another dish you can do um, rice that's actually uh, sticky rice and then maybe you can add um, some alcohol, like uh, rum. Um, and then you can add, uh, maybe you, you want to add like some celery or uh, some carrots and uh, some sweet potato. And then, so there you have a, a soft texture from the rice, you have a crunchy texture from the uh, celery, then you have a, also like a soft and um, more uh, fluffy kind of texture from the sweet potato. So again, then you're playing with textures and then you're making some 
you know, a typical fried rice that's a little bit more interesting.